Hi, it's Barbara. And Mark. Welcome back to What He Design. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than what we usually do. We've done website transformation videos before. We have a whole playlist of the website transformation videos if you want to look at those. But we do those for clients. We talk about how we transform websites for clients. But this time we're going to talk about how we did it for ourselves. If you're not aware, we just launched a brand new website and we're so excited that it's finally live. We've been working on it for a few months now and it's just been a long time coming. So we wanted to talk about all the things that we changed and maybe some things that you could do on your site to improve it and maybe do some redesigning yourself. Yeah, as Barbara said, this was a much needed upgrade for us. The last website design was about two years old. So we wanted to get brand new photos in there and actually have the whole website reflect a lot of the changes that we've you know, encountered over the past couple of years. Yes, we've made a lot of changes in our business and our old website really didn't reflect that at all. So we did completely transform the design. The layout is completely different. The navigation is different. All the pages are the same, but we did do a lot of cleanup. One of the things that really transformed the site, in my opinion, was our new photos. We got photos taken professionally by Laurel Harris. She did a great job. I'll put her link down below if you want to check her out. We just love the photos and how it really reflected our brand and what we do. And I think brand photos are super important if you are looking to really elevate your design and become more professional looking. Yeah, and like she said, we did a lot of cleanup and on the back end, uh, we did want to get rid of a bunch of old like legacy pages that just weren't doing anything for us. We wanted to clean up a lot of the old plugins we had, any sort of custom coding. So this was a completely redo on the whole back end and on the front end as well. Yes, mm -hmm. it took a lot longer than it normally would have because we really had to think about all these different pages that we weren't using anymore. If there's anything that we needed to redirect or mm -hmm. just remove altogether. So it was a lot of planning involved on the back end. Yeah. We, we recommend that if you have a, you know, a big website, do this every couple of years, yes. just go ahead and just clean house. <laughs> like it, it feels good to get rid of some of these old pages. And if they're not getting any sort of search results, it serves no purpose for, you know, your Google search rankings or anything like that. Just get rid of them. Yeah, it's really a good thing to just kind of start fresh and clean up those pages that really aren't serving you anymore. So that's one of the things that we did. And as you can see, one of the biggest upgrades that we made to the website was our resources page. And you can see right here, we have a lot of different ways that you can engage with our content and do advanced searches. You can figure out what category you wanna look under because what we noticed is our blog page or our resources page was starting to get really large. And so we wanted to find a really easy way that not only for us, but for the users, of course, to go ahead and start searching for different keywords and it can pull up all of our resources here. Yes, and one of the things that we kept getting from our old design when people didn't realize we even had these resources it kind of got lost on the old site and that's because we built the old site before we really started taking youtube and the free resources section of our website seriously mm -hmm. but this is something that we update multiple times a week whenever we publish a new video to youtube we also publish it in the resources section so it was a pretty important part of our business and something that we're only going to continue doing and it's going to continue to expand so we really wanted to bring that more to the forefront and i think that the new design really does that well i really love how easy it is to find things that was another thing that really bothered me about the old website was we didn't have really good search. So yeah. Mark can talk more and about And I the actually, <laughs> yeah, so this was using a, a Crocoblock block plugin where you can go ahead and sort the different um, variables when you do a search, you can do an advanced search here. So I, I really wanted to have a good system because not only do I want it to be good for our users, but I'm actually go ahead and I go and do a lot of searches on our own resources page now because uh, our search is actually better than the one that's built into YouTube or anything like that. So I can go ahead really quickly if I need to come across an old video that we created, I can just pull it up real quick on our website now. Yeah, it really made a huge difference. And if you're looking to maybe add some search functionality to your website, maybe you have like an e-commerce store or a really big blog or some resources on your site, 
highly recommend using the search plugin that's built into Crocoblock. It's really, really yeah, great. Yeah, because the one built into WordPress just isn't going to serve you very well. So you got to install a plugin to make it actually function with some sort of advanced functionality. Yeah. Another big change that we made to our website design was the portfolio pages. With the old design, I thought that the layout of the portfolio pages worked really well for new projects because it looked really pretty. It was all of our work. But for the projects where we were redesigning, it didn't work as well because it didn't really showcase exactly what we did and the problems that we solved for the client. And redesigns are a really big part of what we do. Most of our clients come to us with existing websites that they want to redesign and make better. So I wanted to create the portfolio so that it worked for both brand new projects, new brands, new website designs, and the ones where we redesign them as well. So we added some different sections where it talked about the things that we did on the website and we included different images and really showcased a lot better, in my opinion, what exactly we did for the client. The last thing that we wanted to talk about was how we improved our contact form. During our consultation calls that we would have with leads, we would ask a lot of the same questions over and over. So we figured why not add that information to the contact form so we can get it up front. That way we're not wasting the time of any leads coming in and we're not wasting our time. We can just get right into what it is that they need to have done. So I think if you have a contact form on your site, maybe reevaluate it and ask yourself if there's any additional information that you can get uh, in the beginning on that contact form rather than wasting time on a consultation call because it really does make a difference. And I think that it's going to really improve our consultation process. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't checked out the new website, make sure that you do. We're gonna leave a link in the description below. It's just wikidesign.com. And if there's anything that we can help you with, if you need to redesign your website, feel free to reach out. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.